Hello guys, here I am back again. Here's another uh, tutorial on, on a little flower I uh, learned. Um, this one was made, uh, it's a, a channel uh, called The Cool Brush. Uh, the tutorial though is on Spanish. So I decided to do one and do it in English. But, uh, oh, thank you. Two year old. Anyways, these are the little flowers that they made. I just want to put a little brad, but you can put anything pretty much um, you want. But there it is. I think it's really cute, very simple to make, and I love quick and simple and cute. And this is one of them. Ah, sorry. This is one of them. Little girl album, mini album, or little barrette, anything. This one is cute too. Get it closer so you can see. Put that little center. I don't know what those things are called. I got them on eBay. Um, I think they're made out of plastic. They're really cute, but I don't know what they're called exactly. I don't remember when I ordered them, but they're so cute. But anyways, this is the flower that I made. It's made up out of fabric. Put a little circle on the back. Um, as far as the type of fabric, I don't know, but you can use any fabric you want. And then here's another pink one. But this one, what I did is I put a little button and I added a little blink to it in the center. I thought that looked really cute. You can see that. And um, also in the back. Really cute. So I'm going to try to do one really quick for you guys. Now, what I did is I went ahead and freehand cut my circles. I don't have anything that, that will cut it for me, so I just kind of estimated, and I kind of measured it, it's like about four and a half inches, and you need five of them. So I cut three here, and what I did is I freehand cut one, and then I put it on top, fold the other material in half, and cut this way, that way my circles will come the same size. So I'm going to cut this real quick, and just, I put little pins on it just to keep it um, in place. But for those of you that are like me, that don't have anything that'll cut the circles for you, you know, you can do this. And it works great. Because the, when the, the way the flower is connected, you can't really see. So if it's not a perfect circle, that's okay. It's not going to show. So all my other flowers, I did them like that. And as long as you keep the circles the same size, it's okay. But you don't want different size then you're gonna have a, a weird looking flower <laughs> oops I missed this okay so that's it Get this out of the way so then like I said I need five five little ones so I have one two three four five oh I guess I got these extra so I toss them aside now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a needle and thread and get a color that coordinates with your fabric so I already have mine set and I uh, knotted the end, end of the thread so what you do is just grab your little circle and you're going to stitch all around it and it doesn't have to be perfect but you kind of have to keep it in the same distance but just in and out in and out pull it out and again in and out. Okay. And pull. And I really like um, working and um, learning things, techniques that are simple and easy to do with, um, you know, little little time and money, you know. You can buy yourself a couple of yards and you can make tons of flowers out of them, you know. And it depends on the size. You can make them any size you want, you know, depending on what it's going to be used for. But um, in the tutorial that I saw, she did it in a barrette. She just put one of those uh, hairpins on it in the back. You know, you just glue it or stitch it or that's it. You know, you can put it on a any kind of hair accessory and it looks really cute you can put it in her shirt like a little button 
you know, and it's sewed, so it's um, nice and, um, you know, secure, where it won't tear, break apart, you know. And, um, and it's really cute. And you can put any, any brads or anything you pretty much want to put as a centerpiece. So, it's really cute. And fairly simple. Oh my god, I think my screen is getting... It happens. And your thread wants to get stuck there, so you have to keep pulling or else it'll get kind of knotted. But... And you're out. So see, this is pretty much what you're doing. It looks kind of like a little... Like the girl says, a little grandma hat. <laughs> but what you do is you pull the thread all the way out. So make sure you tighten the little pedal really good. So after it's nice and tight, you're gonna wanna give it a little knot there so it don't come won't come loose. Oops. I always like to do a double knot just to make sure it's good. I hope I'm in frame here. And cut. So this is our first little petal. Looks like a little blown, but we'll put that one down. So now we're going to do the other ones. Try to go a little faster here. Try. I'm not that fast and good on this yet. But I just think this is awesome to learn new, new things. Let's see. what I should have done is I already had the other ones made for, you know, faster, but, oh well, in a way it's good because you guys get to see how long it really takes to do a flower, you know, I said when you stitch it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not gonna show. So just in out, in out. them up a little. This material is really thin, which is good. Um, 
Um, so it makes it a little faster. I want to use the um, the satin material. See how it comes out with one of those. I haven't tried that one. I like to use satin. This one, I don't know what it is. Polyester, I don't know what it is. I don't know my fabrics. Melissa, what did you take? My two year old is roaming around the table. She loves to grab my stuff and run for it. She keeps me busy. It's very hard for me sometimes to get these little videos done and you know when I get orders on um, oops, on uh, mini albums it's hard sometimes because this little girl just doesn't give mommy a break. I think that's their job. I'm not supposed to let you do anything really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I love little girl, I just love her to death. Even though she drives me nuts sometimes. But there we have it. And we're down to two more. Lisa, what are you doing? No, no what? <laughs> okay. Let's see now. Yeah, I'm already at 12 minutes. I'm taking too long. Actually, I saw another flower um, on another tutorial. I did one. I'll have to show it to you guys before I finish this video. Came out really cute. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can do a tutorial on that one as well. It's like a shabby chic flower. Really pretty. So I have to show it to you guys. And it was very simple also to make. And. Um, channel I think it's Jenny Jenny 644 I think if I'm not mistaken she has a lot of great tutorials on various things uh, different flowers and techniques she even does little little um, centers uh, for the flowers she makes her own she um, uses little pearls and glues them together and then they're really pretty. I tried some of them, um, and uh, they came out cute, but I, I really haven't had the time to sit there and try to do more different ones, because she makes different ones, and they're really pretty. Um, so instead of buying your little, you know, things that you're going to put in the center, you can just make your own, and um, they're really cute. But, uh, yeah, she has a lot of... Uh, good techniques um, you should check her out and like I said it's Jennings uh, 644 I'll also put her her um, her channel from YouTube so you guys can check her out she's really good also very easy to understand her videos which is great and um, I'll have to show you the flower right now because it's really pretty uh, I've only done one though of that one, so I need to get started and do more because I really like it and I want to work on different sizes too. But I did just one. I actually I did that flower last night. Couldn't sleep last night, so I started watching videos and I just bumped into hers. I said, "Wait a minute, let me see." 
So I tried it and uh, it came out really pretty. And um, yeah, I'll have to check it. I'll have to let, let you guys check it out. It's really cute. But I am almost done here. I'm so afraid of getting poked with the needle. God knows I've done that so many times already. And the feeling is not cute. Okay, fix it up a little bit here. Okay, then we we'll just pull the fabric. Make sure you don't pull it that hard though, because it might tear. Now what we do is we're going to fix up our little petals. There's one. There's two. Usually there's sort of, if you notice here, one side is more wrinkly than the other. You kind of want to fix them up and make sure you get the, all of them together. The wrinkly is on one side and the more straight on the other. <laughs> and, you know, you kind of hold it a little bit, see? Wrinkly part right here. And here we go with our last little petal. And we're good. So now what we're going to do is here really quick and we're going to start connecting them so we're going to take one little petal and we're just going to sew across like that get to see that and we're going to do that to all our petals so push the needle out pull make sure we keep them all in the same order because of the stitching. So what I do is put it down on the table and whoosh. I probably should have one of those things, what do you call those? I don't even know what they're called in English. But I don't have one at the moment. I do, it's just somewhere over there. Oh, come on. Now my needle got stuck. This is not good for tutorial purposes. There it is. You know how every time you're videotaping everything just seems to be going wrong. <laughs> the only thing I'm thankful for is that my daughter hasn't gotten gone crazy. Every time she throws fits and thank God she's keeping herself occupied. Making a mess, but keeping herself occupied. It's okay, mommy's here to clean. I didn't struggle as much with these other flowers I made with this one. This one is really, like I said, it's because I'm doing a video. I do a video, just everything happens. Oh my God, it's not good. So if it happens to you, it's normal. I'm sure it happens to all of us. Now we got it. See, scissors are not just good for cutting, they're good for pulling. <laughs> Anyways, so we pull the string to make sure we get it tight and this is what you have so far. So what we need to do is start fixing up our little petals, but first, oops, 
we pull, and we're going to connect it to the first petal we had started. And we're going to do the same um, stitching, but we're going to do it, do it again, a, a circle motion, you know, sewing all around it again just to secure it a little more, just like we did with the other flower. And so we struggle again. Stitch. Goodness, this fabric gets thin. I don't know why it's giving me a hard time to pull the, the needle out. And if you see all these little little thread things, don't worry. We can remove those. Pliers here. Instead of using my Tim Holt scissors. Wow, I don't know why. I'm having such a hard time with this needle. Then after you go around, you give it a little knot, and um, I always double it just to secure it. Make sure it doesn't come apart. So then you come and uh, fix your petals here. Oh, well, I have to cut these little hair things. Then you come and you fluff up, fluff up, fluff up your little petals. And you take your little hair things that and there you have it. Aside from struggling with the needle. There's a little flower. So now you have to do is pick a little centerpiece. Um, I was going to use one of my brats, but my daughter took it. Hold on. Put it on the floor. I was going to use one of these little brats. These are from uh, Studio G. So, pull one out. And you just pop it in the center. Now, you could open it in the back to kind of close it, but I like to put glue in it on the front too, just to secure it again. So I'm going to throw a little bit of glue around the center, and like I said, you can use any centerpiece you want. Take the little webs from the um, glue gun, you just kind of open it there. You have it. Use it in your little mini albums, your hair. 
there you have it. This is what using the little brat. Very simple, very cute. I just hope you guys don't struggle as much as I did with the uh, needle. <laughs> Maybe it's the material, I don't know. But it uh, came out really cute. I hope you guys like it. And like I said, you can use various centerpieces for your flowers. And I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. And please leave me comments and let me know what you guys think. And you guys could check out, um, like I said, uh, the cool brush. Well, that's in Spanish, but same thing here. Really pretty. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.